Hello, my name is Dr. George Machaki. Welcome to Advertising. This uh, lesson today, we're going to be talking, or Chapter 16, is using out-of-the-home exhibits and supplementary media. Part of our integrated marketing communication, which advertising is the uh, mouthpiece or the visual uh, uh, aspect of the whole uh, marketing campaign, integrated marketing campaign. So, you're either taking me for an online class, a face-to-face -face class, and a face-to-face -face class, you're, we were discussing this uh, chapter in our lecture, an online class, we're discussing it within the forums. On my online class, this uh, video here, or this YouTube, or this uh, uh, recording, about you know, anywhere from a half an hour to an hour, this will be your lecture. And a uh, face-to-face class, uh, I may miss some of the information because I'm looking more at the concepts. I'm utilizing that more of the discussion. So this is also a supplement. If I miss something or I went too quickly or you don't understand it, you can always go back. You have access to my concept maps and the reading material. So now that you know you're using out-of-the-home exhibit, what is it? As I mentioned before, they're basically outdoor billboards. If you look at the billboard sign, most of us when we're stuck in traffic, you look up there and there's a billboard, and that's when you get advertising. We're a captive audience, we're bored. You know, but nowadays, uh, you know how effective that is, we'll talk about that. Okay, so let's talk about our learning objective. So this is this whole series here is when you're doing, uh, you're going to be uh, writing your uh, 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 advertising plan for me. Part of it is how I'm going to uh, communicate to my target audience. And billboards for small business or a startup, or someone else that is on limited uh, 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 revenue, for lack of better words, this is a, another way of uh, being uh, to advertise that's still cost-effective and still effective depending where you place a billboard. So what's our learning objectives? Okay, uh, again, remember, you already have my concept maps. They're in a PDF file, usually two sheets. I give you to the second tier, sometimes two tiers if I want you to understand the material. Utilize, the, uh, this is your vocabulary sheet. This is also your study for your uh, 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 final exam or any kind of exam you, uh, you'll be taking. And you should have everything. So we're going to talk about, discuss the pros and cons of outdoor advertising. It has its pluses, it has its negative. Explain how to measure exposure to outdoor uh, media. What you begin to find out the same thread, uh, the, uh, a certain theme goes across whichever medium I'm utilizing. this TV, print, uh, social media. How do I know it's effective? How do I know that it's actually reaching the target that someone's charging me to get to their to that target audience because they have uh, a way of uh, uh, showing my advertising to them indirectly or directly because they're utilizing their you know, as a third party either their uh, software or apps or whatever they're doing. Okay, uh, detail. Uh, the, the various uh, options available in uh, transit advertising. When you look at transit advertising, you have uh, cars, you have taxis, you have trains. We'll talk about that. Uh, another way of advertising. Like I said, when you're advertising, what you beginning to understand through this, you know, we're already on chapter uh, uh, 16 or lesson 16, you begin to see that we are bombarded by so much stimuli. What do I do to have mine stick out in the crowd out of all the ads that we see what do i do different how do i break that uh, uh that barrier or how do i uh, uh, go into an area that no one's utilized for advertising okay identify the influence and cost and transit other out of uh, home media discuss the importance of exhibit media remember exhibit media when we look at the exhibit media we're talking about trade shows and for business to business that's uh, one way to get to um uh, to the key buying personnel who are looking at my product. A little different than the consumer market because business to business to repeat customers and they're buying larger quantity. Once I sign them up and they meet my spe I can meet their specification, I have a long-term customer where a consumer may, be, and I use the example of a roofing uh, company. If you put a roof on my house, how many times do I need to roof? Unless you do shady work, maybe once every 20 years. So what I'm going to do in the meantime is not going to have a repeat. Now, if I'm a contractor, an architect, that roofing company, if he could or she could tie into somehow into their distribution or their uh, uh, building uh, as one of the suppliers, they're always going to have uh, a business, at least steady business coming in uh, monthly or uh, at least monthly or uh, seasonal, depending on it. 
identify seven uh, uh, types of supplementary media. That's what we can learn today. Okay, we're going to start with the websites. Now, they've got some really neat websites. I want you to start looking at the websites. Last week, you did a lot of uh, uh, visuals, and advertising is visual. I, I started you off reading, so you, you learn the book, you understand the book, and you can say, okay, this is all right. I'm reading definitions. Now, I want you to start applying it. And start using like start building it so let's look at some of the websites to get some ideas and we'll talk about this remember talking outdoor board okay bing mobile uh images this one here when i looked at here it didn't work what the heck happened here let me just go here uh copy hang on a second i thought i had the link created uh um, yeah, here we go paste the link there we go let's see if that works I guess that one's not working for me. Edit link. Oh, no wonder I didn't have the link in here. Sorry. Paste. Okay. All right, now we go. Sorry, my, my mistake. Eh, we're live. Just what I've been doing in the classroom. So you figure I'm as live as I could get, okay? So if I'm looking at this in here, what do we have? These are all kind of mobile ads. Other than what you've seen uh, uh, on a billboard. Look, you got trucks that drive around. Uh, remember, these are supposed to be mobile outdoor apps. So I got trucks, all kind of ads. You see semi truck. I got a semi truck. I'm driving. Hey, if I'm an independent contractor, I'll, and it's uh, like Walmart or or Target or somebody wants me to advertise. Psh, uh, you see a lot of these trucks, these kind of ads are also utilized for political stand and new campaign managers coming in, a new politician wants to get elected, so you could drive this truck all over and see their ads hand out. So they're very creative, look, they're on there, a lot of them are alive. Your mobile ad uh, advertising, Planet Fitness, uh, and you see a lot of stores, even like, um, uh, for like a, a Target, you could see, uh, if I look at uh, um, uh, um, uh, cutters or, or sports cutting they have their own uh, uh, or great cuts they have their own trucks out there and sometimes they do it they may go to like nursing homes and get free haircuts for uh, the senior or going to areas where people uh, uh, low income uh, uh, and they're trying to uh, as a nonprofit a social as a responsible uh, uh, part of an organization showing responsibility but also get my name uh, recognition out there Look, you have these mobile ads that you could go in there. A lot of them are driving. You know, this one's a Be Bold. You know, it's provocative, but it got you attention. Friends and families, you know, Verizon. Look at this. Drive your business, you know, U.S. Mobile. Uh, how about this one here is uh, uh, Stockers. Uh, let's see. Uh, put the IRS in charge of your health care. Fed up. Okay, so he's a congressman. Remember, looking for political. This is global. A, 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 a billboard for advertising. Look at these things. They're, they're everywhere. Look, they even got one on a bicycle. My goodness sake. I wouldn't even thought of a bicycle. Drive my bicycle around. I can't get my... When do they have like a, a concert? It's kind of a little bit big, but I have a little bit smaller one. Kind of good idea. Like that. Okay. So now you have... Look, Costco has it. This one here has got a, 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 a digital. So those trucks going. It's got signs. You can probably watch it. I know it's distracting when you're driving. So it's got to be... You know, you got to use your... You know what the laws are uh, out there... And use it in good taste. Otherwise, it becomes a, 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 a negative aspect to the brand name. Okay? So we have that. I don't want to see no more. Look, look at this one. Brand new, 12. Now, this is kind of nice. I would have never thought about that, but it's out there. So now you have the mobile ads. Top suggestions for mobile ads. Uh, 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 billboard, Sheila. What's this one? Top ones. Portable billboard material. Interesting. Okay, so we're going to close this one up. And I'll just close this. Good. So let's look at this. Uh, uh, now, they talked about our overhead um, uh, uh, advertising. So let me just click this on. World business. Unlikely technology to eliminate billboards. I got to go to advertising. 27 seconds. You look at these short ones. They know that most people aren't going to flip it off until they advertise. For some reason, I don't have the volume on here. I said make sure. Oh, there, I had to turn off. Why? Why aren't we connected to what really matters? When will we reach our goals? What do you think this is an ad for? When we Microsoft the Cloud? The, internet, the phone became smart. When we connect billions more things, life will be even smarter. Remember, we so become, become a collective. But advertising. Oh, sorry. 
bottom uh, thing. Perfect. Are we good? So you have this, and, and you know, some re uh, some writing digital. I, I think it's from Israel. There's something from London. Uh, L uh, LED uh, lights. Okay, so there's got some information. Remember, there's a nice site. Look at these sites. That's what I want you to do. When uh, uh, billboards, let's see what this site does. Okay, billboard. A billboard is uh, uh, is called hoarding in uh, uh, UK. So they call it something else in many other parts of the world. The large outdoor advertising structure of billboard typically found in high traffic advertising. So just look, uh, uh, Times Square. And we're going to mention about this one. Let's look at this one. Times Square. We give you some information about that. Different populations. Oh, oh, it's Wikipedia. Uh, okay, so are we good? So that's another one. What, what do I have in this one? Let's see this one. Billboard.com. You can get quotes. Different billboards. See how it works. Okay, fill out the registration. I'm not trying to do that. But, you know, that'd be something. You could get some information. Remember, some of you are doing research for me, so you have to find out what you're doing on that, okay? Uh, out of the home. Now, I like this one here. And I looked at this one here because I was looking at uh, out of the home expert, learn more, see our recent work. I kind of like this one here. Let me just go on here, see our recent work. Okay, so this is some work that they've done. Mexico tourism pays up well. For the Super Bowl, look, you got the Mexico uh, buses driving by. Uh, he's doing pretty good. You got good pictures. People coming in there. Look at look at the exposure. They're coming back to the. Yeah, I'm waiting for a bus. I got nothing to do. This bus is a little unique. But you know, once you get too many buses, you start, uh, start on looking at them. Okay, uh, who are we? Our work. Okay, here's some of the work they did. It. They did it for yogurt. They did it for AT and T, Bud Light, Kiss, Riverbed. Okay. Uh, uh, Comet, they work for Comet. I didn't know they did that. The big Comet billboard. Okay. Uh, Brewing. Look at Lee Brand. So all of these are out here. Remember, move PCs. Look, it's another way, a part of advertising. So if you're going to go into advertising, what do I want to do? I want to create it. Or I'm going to do advertising. I want to work my way up in an organization. There's a lot of different things. Billboarding is another way of doing it. Think about it. Low cost, it's not really that uh, inexpensive, about $500 a month, depending where the ads are. But you could get uh, exposure. If close to your place, you're opening up, you can have an ad. If you have an ad above you, uh, open up here for George's. You know, where did you hear from us? You know, 24 years of experience. Did you see this ad? The subway, let's see what they have here. Let's see if. Now look how they're doing this. Remember, these are advertising. These are outside advertising. These are experts. Ads are up in there. This guy's just driving around, catches my idea. This is just their commercial to sell. Look, Mexico, so they're international. Look at the lights. Look at the big ads, a little bit larger. Thousands of campaigns. They're part of it. So do not overlook them. They're, they're they could reach an audience in a smaller area that you may not have been able to reach before, because they're they're captive audience. That's what I'm looking. I got an all I got an, uh, uh, audiences that are captive. Uh, I could get them. Look at these. These are. Uh, uh, I think it's great. I mean, this is the whole uh, uh, words a thousand words. Look, people looking at this. What the heck is a big ad in the middle of our? Look at this ad. Interactive ad. They could come in there. They could they could talk. I could drive by Peapod, they got the ads, so here's the fresh food, you think somebody's in there? People are coming by, look, uh, audience spends 70% of walking hours outside the home. I didn't realize, I probably did right work. Now playing, yogurt, look, you're slowing down, traffic, look at this, but remember, you're bombarded by this, which one's gonna catch my attention? Kids love them, you know, who they after? You know, Subway, a lot of Subways in here. Uh, in, the, uh, in the train station, you're going in there, captive audience, you have it on and off, you're, uh, you're walking down, like or not you see it, you're talking to somebody else, it, it has in this one's about a minute, never stop exploring, uh, uh, where do you uh, live, work and play, look at Longboard, kind of nice ad, he's doing something, got Hawaiians, I got in here, contracts, hey, some of you are not even looking, just reading a book, look what's out there. You're, you know, when you go outside taking this course with me in advertising a billboard, start looking around. See if you could utilize a billboard. You're going to tell me, I'm going to put a billboard. Where are you going to put it? Where are you going to do it? Why did you select it? What are you going to put on the billboard? What's going to catch your ad? All right, other billboards around there. What's going to get you? Got my ad there. Look at this. Uh, I'm driving around. They're giving them free rides. 
rap center got their ads all over they got a little bar going under I couldn't have asked for more okay we good okay now time to the lecture just kidding all right, we good so we got that okay so now why would I wanna what did I get stuck here still working that's okay it's gonna come back because I had a lot of things open here let me just see what's okay this thing was just going to pop up. All right, why use outdoor advertising? Communicate a, a, a message or an image to a select individual in a local language to a mass audience quickly. I just put an ad out there. I want something else. I could put the billboard or one of these roving trucks. I could just drive in an area and I could get my message out for paying attention. And frequently a reasonable cost. Think of an outdoor ad. And, you know, these are some ads that we might have looked. You know, here's a person talking. It's an interactive ad. They're in here talking. It's doing something to you. Throw the information out. I'm drinking it here, and the person's actually doing it on, on the screen. Okay? So these are more interactive ads to catch my attention. You know, after a while, you see too many, then you're not going to be... It's not interactive anymore. Okay, outdoor advertising career. What kind of careers you have? There's uh, 3,000 plants, outdoor adver uh, uh, advertising agency across the United States, divided by 50. You have a pretty good chance of working in one of them. There's uh, uh, 390,000 outdoor ad structure just in the United States. Some of the responsibilities that these ad things find suitable locations. So if you're doing it with real estate, you could go in there, lease and buy the property, acquire the permits. So those of you who are uh, got a legal or paralegal, and you, but you don't want to go into traditional paralegal, but you want to go into uh, advertising, contract with advertisers, uh, uh, work with uh, creatives. Uh, let's leave that. Post or paint uh, bill, uh, bulletins out there in maintenance and types of advertising. I've got, uh, real quickly, I've got standardized advertising. And all this one here is when you're looking at the different one, just going to show you the size. I, I've got it written down. Those are the concept maps uh, where traffic is having visible, right, uh, junior posters. I'm looking at this 5x11, sheer posters. Reduce cost by stocking posters are referred to as terms as sheets. And spectators, New York's well-known. We talked about that. So let's look at the uh, big picture. So here's a bulletin board, 14 is supposed to be by 48 uh, feet. Big bill, uh, gets your attention, 30 sheets. How do I get something up there that's not electronically? How do I paint it? They get painted, sometimes some of it's done if you're an artist. They draw, you know, if you're doing graffiti on the walls, heck, just get yourself a job as an advertising. Instead of graffiti during the daytime, you can have your heart out, you have this whole canvas for the world to see you, and you're getting paid a pretty uh, dollar for it if you have something that's creative and catches your eye. But uh, instead of having someone paint it, just buy a little sheet. Boom, boom. A lot of times I have to do a, a, a presentation at a conference. Instead of spending a real big sheet, and I got to do it real quickly, I just do PowerPoint, have your paper, and just print out the size I want and it gives me little sheets and then put it together. Just something to do with those of you who have to do some kind of uh, actual presentations and you want to do it real quick. It's better off going to like uh, uh, Staples or Office uh, uh, Depot uh, and uh, for the fee and have them just print it out or there's a lot of printing companies that will give you the larger poster. Very more professional but you need it real quick for because uh, you forgot and you got to put something else up uh, this will work same concept as uh, spectaculars all right and if i look at spectaculars it's a real large one uh, and i would even call it spectacular the little bike that glows and you know because i wouldn't expect that in a bike pad and talk about selling my bicycles or, or uh, advertise here okay all right and if you look at some kind of mobile advertising, think of the ice cream truck that's got the bell. Dee, 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 and kids just hear the bell. And then they just look for the white truck. They don't care what the company is. White truck, bell, you got an ice cream on the side. And usually you, you look at good humor. Because good humor is a higher brand for whatever. you got a good name brand, strong brand. So people don't think they're getting any kind of a, a, a inferior uh, ice cream for the kids. Okay? Or for themselves. Buying outdoor. Okay, here's how you buy outdoor. It's a 100 showing. It's called 100 gross rating points. We'll talk a little bit uh, later on. One rating points, 1% of the market population. Do you see how it works? So 100 uh, rating points, 1% of the market, one rating point. Gross points reach 88 point of the adults in the market over a 30-day period. Over a 30-day period, 88.1% adults in the market. When they're talking to the market, they're talking about the geographic area that I want my advertising to, uh, uh, to be, uh, to... Uh, be exposed to a certain uh, in a certain frequency rate. It's always there. 
So if I put it someplace where people go to work every day in the morning, remember you, a couple of chapters, you're looking at certain individuals, I'm looking at the business type or the working individuals, what's the most time is from seven o'clock to eight, they're stuck in traffic, so they're gonna see that sign over and over, keeps them, you know, uh, but every month you should change it, already quit looking at it. Eyes on impression rating, like it or not, takes into account, what are you looking at? The sign, so if I'm looking, here's a sign. How much is, how effective is that sign? Kind of big, kind of large sign, you're just getting used to it. Uh, 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 all right, people passing by the display of the sign, right? That's gonna take in the angle to the road. A everything you're selling, how are gonna people see it? It's too high, too short. It's just, is it covered by trees? Because when I put the sign up, there's no trees. Now, all of a sudden, there's trees. I don't see it. What's the format? What's the street type? Is it a busy street? I'm looking for streets that every now and then not, look, not on the expressway. You see the signs on the expressway as you look because there's few and f uh, uh, far apart, so you can catch your eyes. You're looking at something because it throws off nice scenic real area all of a sudden you got a sign so you're going to look at it but if you're looking in a in a, a, in a rural uh, i mean in an urban area urban area you always want to go by where the traffic is stopped where there's traffic congestions where the roads come together because normally when people are driving they're not talking to cell phone but they may listen to music to look into the road they're talking to friends or whatever they're doing the only time you start looking at those signs is when they're stuck in traffic and they're impatient what are we doing Hmm, I'll read that. Hmm, I saw that sign again. All right, or they use it as markers, so you're, you're, you're pretty good. But, you know, so how many people are passing by? Those are the questions you have to ask. What's the size of the sign? You know, street type, distance from the road, and the position, okay? Now, the net effect, again, only ad medium that uh, attracts ad viewers, frequency reduce uh, uh, or reaches a negligible. So all of this telling you, I'm looking only ad medium that attracts. Uh, so what I'm trying to do, I want to know... How do I know how many people are going to pass that sign? And it's not too hard. A lot of times they'll say, here, we have a train station, a railroad track. The train passes seven times a day, 12 times a day. Each time they stop, they, uh, 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 each time they pass, they hold up traffic for 20 minutes, 18 minutes, whatever the law is. And I got to tell you, even though you know it's longer. So, uh, and then so many cars are on this at this time. And they could see the sign five miles back. You know, way back there, I'm not really looking that close at the sign unless there's something that catches my attention. So if I have a digital sign or something that's changing, I've got that audience always, always. And that's why I'm looking at frequency and exposure. Frequency and exposure. But I keep on showing the same sign. It uh, loses its, uh, its uh, impact. Okay? Location, location, location. Higher traffic volumes, higher rates. If there's more traffic, because I know there's more people going to be stuck watching it, I could justify a higher rate. Billboards, location, if I root, and this is just showing you where all the locations, there's probably intersection. If you notice, there's always some kind of intersection, some traffic jam. So they already know where each location. So if I'm located here and I want to sign here, how much is it going to cost me and how much traffic? Okay, uh, regulation, outdoor signs, highway, you know, scenic, uh, uh, highway construction, bands uh, in 2000. Let me just go this test larger. Okay? And state regulation, certain places, signs they don't want. You know, a lot of people want more of the rural area. They don't want to clutter with signs. Or they say, I can only have so many signs within a certain, uh, uh, be before I have a next sign. Okay? Uh, uh, outdoor advertising technology. What do we have? Uh, a GPS uh, positioning system shows me the location of each uh, of the location of each location of the sign. GPS also the new cars, and because of IDOT has things where they could tell how many cars drive by, because that's how they manage the traffic. Because a lot of the uh, new cars have a signature that they're sending out either by radio or GPS. It's already embedded in the car, so they'll know how many cars and what types of cars are driving, and you could probably backpedal that. If you got that ID number, you can probably find out who owns the car and get more demographic. I know there's information out there for a price you'll be able to have it. Remember, if there's anything that's collected uh, digitally, there's somebody out there be able to what we call data mining. And from advertising, that's another way to find out. Yes, sophisticated software, digital uh, video, barcodes, computerized uh, painting, LEDs, you know, holograms, interactive, uh, cause, uh, uh, you know, this little... Uh, uh, for lack of better words, a little uh, uh, push carts, okay, kiats, uh, kind of, and then 3D, okay. Technology, all technology is doing is making it more catching my attention. A blinking light, a red light, a green light, 
something that just pops up. I come in there, all of a sudden the sign gets bigger. Or the, uh, the, uh, you go into the store, there's no ad, and all of a sudden, hello, welcome. You know, what's annoying when I go to get gas now. And I can see the mobile. They got those things. I think uh, uh, British Petroleum B, uh, BP uh, has it. I come and fill up gas. I'm in the morning. And hey, you want to buy some coffee? I tell them, shut up. I don't want to listen to nobody. I don't care. Just show me the sign. Don't talk to me. You know, you, you want to turn that person off. But just stuck listening to the guy talking about the coffee. And maybe it'll work. Because some people go in. Okay. Next one we have is transit advertising. Our bus system. Types of locations. I have buses. I have taxis. I got subways. That's subway sandwiches. I got transit shelters. I got terminal posters. I got inside, outside. So let's go on buses. Where do you got buses? This is a bus, right? You come on the bus, you sit there, you hear the ads all around me. I have nothing to do. I don't want to look at the person, so I read the ad. I don't want to look at somebody else. They think I'm staring at them. I look at the ads, okay? Uh, taxi cabs. Uh, generally for 30 days, display internally illuminated two-sided posters. See most of the taxi cabs got some advertising. I don't know how effective they are because I'm looking for a taxi and a lot of times those are a little bit small. Let's look at it. You got to catch my eyes. I never, I never really bought anything from a taxi cab. But it's out there. I'm just one person. Remember? I get as an advertiser of, hey, how many people? Okay, so, so if I ask them, as a thing, they say, hey, I heard about your, what did you say? I was driving a taxi, I'm driving a taxi, I got George's uh, hot dog stand, or George's or Gam Consulting uh, uh, out there, or whatever. So now I say, hey, that's a good idea. Okay, so maybe it's working. I may not look at it, but there's a lot of people that will look at it. Okay, subways, you're bombarded. The commuter train stations, transit shelters, terminal posters, uh, many busways, uh, things. Inside, outside cars, you know, place above the seats where you're stuck in it. Luggage rack. If I look at that sky uh, shop, when uh, those who fly, they've got everything. Some people buy it because they want to send something to the loved one. Oh, here's something cute. I order it right online. Boom, send it. I won't be home for a week and they'll get some gifts uh, from here and they'll make it personalized, gift wrap, whatever you want. Outside posters. If I look at outside posters, printed high grade cardboard and varnish for weather resistance. Okay? Okay, so I take care of my trains. Okay, now buying trains in uh, advertising for 100 showing, you know, one uh, ad in each vehicle uh, in the system, special inside buy, basic buses, take ones, uh, bus ram, uh, uh, ram assigned. Now these are kind of nice jumbo color transparencies, black lighted by fluorescent lights to, to, so they catch my attention during the daytime, running length of the bus, okay, total bus ram, uh, uh, wrap. Uh, brand uh, trains uh, immersive a advertising other outside media poster stamps when I look at the poster stamps now look a lot of times I do a lot of posters I do some research a lot of people in research you know you're supposed to code it so they know who you send it to but you don't you know in case they ever check did you actually do uh, the survey in this type of a population or you're just making up the numbers and a lot of people would cross it out because you know in the back I, I code it so what I have to do, I always do this. Instead of doing, you know, you could send surveys electronically. It works good, but people are bombarded. Unless you give them something for free, they're not going to do it. But if I give them a hard copy, they kind of feel guilty. They take it home and I fill it out. You know, some do, some don't. Some like to just click the button, they want to do anything. But when they send it back to me, I give them a return uh, postage. On the return postage, it's void here. It always has a number, especially if it's my, uh, my own postage machine. And that number changes, so that's how I get billed by how many stamps. And all I gotta do is record. I send out this group to this individual, George Machaki, this number. You know, this is another way of doing it for those of you who have to do it. Uh, you're doing research and you wanna make sure. You know, mine is not to turn in who did what. It's not my job to research. They sign up, they know it. It's just for me if someone questions my data and that I, did I actually do the research because I'm saying statistically I've got a good sample of the population, but it's not. Uh, 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 so they like this, you know, 80% uh, of the doctors will favor this. And how do they do it? They don't do 80% you know, uh, of all the doctors in the United States. They do a sample size in that area. Okay, electronic signs are a good one. Display text messages. You see that a lot of colleges. Parking meters already got signs. I'm already upset with the parking meter, but they got a sign. Public phones got signs. Uh, you know, they, they get some money. If I already had owned the phone, I get some money on that. Okay, exhibit. Uh, product uh, packaging. Let's look. Exhibit media. When I look at exhibit media, we're going to be talking business T, business, or business to business, the way I learned. I'm old. Business with a two to business makes it easy. Or uh, those of you reading the material from the advertiser, uh, material you have, they would go B, T, you know, for two to uh, business. Either one. I look at BLT, cause, but it's B, 
T to business. So business to business, how do I advertise to them? I do it by trade journals. You know, we're going to talk about, we already talked about the print. How do I do an uh, outside advertising? It means get them outside of their office. How do I know? they got different personalities, different levels. I don't really know what the president of the company is looking at. Is he looking at the uh, Disney Channel with his grandkids, or is he looking at the sports? I, I have no clue. You know, so I advertise there, but I may not be able to reach him. The best way to reach the buying centers or the decisions for business is trade shows. Expensive, but you get the right individuals. So let's look at it. The other thing is during a trade show, I, I'll give them you know, the trade boots. A lot of, you always see them. You know, it happens you know, not that often, maybe three times a year. You're out there if you're doing it in fashion uh, a lot. You know, sometimes I'll teach uh, fa uh, retail merchandising. And I know that uh, uh, what's the new style, fashion, material, prior before it comes out of year, they already have to have it ordered and in the supply chain. So when that color or that uh, different type of material comes in a year or six months ahead of time, uh, the vendors and suppliers and the retail stores already have it. Okay, so packaging, exhibit of packaging. Let's look at packaging, right? I put my signs on the packaging, the watches, right? And this is stuff that I'm giving away. A lot of times I'm giving away, remember, I'm looking at exhibit media. That means I'm doing a trade show. I'm giving something away to somebody so they remember me. You know, and a lot of trade shows, if you haven't been to the larger one, yeah, I used to hand out business cards. What's the business card? They have my name, the title, all the information they need, but then they have to, you know, they can scan it in. Nowadays, you come in there, when you already sign in, you have like a, a credit card. You just swipe that, shh, it's not a credit card, it just takes all your information. No different than the QR reader. When I look at a QR reader on my business uh, cards, a uh, QR code looks like something like this. See this little thing in here? It has all this. Instead of I got a long name and a long uh, website, instead of them typing, I'm going to mess it up, they scan this and everything is on there and you just click on that. I can put more information on a card. Uh, you know, as long as the individual has the tool, most of them do, and they can scan it and they'll find everything I want, and, and it, it still doesn't clutter the card, it still makes it look pretty good, okay? All right, so we have that, so remember, so when I'm giving something away, if you're going to give something free away, don't give away junk. You're going to give away junk, you're going to toss it away, give them away nice stuff, even though I've got your name on a good pen that doesn't leak, a good tablet, a good piece of paper, a good Whatever you're giving, make sure it has some quality. A good t-shirt, a good sweatshirt. Not something that's shrink and I'm the embarrassed. Something, you know, hey, this is pretty good. Got the name on it, I don't really care. I'll advertise. Because uh, people are saying, where did you get that t-shirt from? I got it at the trade show here. And here's the business, okay? So that's my packaging, okay? Exhibited packaging. Uh, packaging influence environmental, government, manufacturing, frequently changes. So remember, when I'm saying the government, well, what's environmental? Do I use... Uh, uh, plastic or to use paper to use recyclable products most ads and everything else this is 80 percent recyclable we throw it in so let's recycle it government you know i mean they have certain regulations what i could utilize in the packages what's acceptable what's not manufacturing they are limited on what their process is so there's a frequency of changes in the packaging depending what the mood of all three of those uh stakeholders are Okay, trade shows and boots. Let's look at this. Here's a pic of a trade show. Now, this is kind of a nice one. Here's a boot. Look, at this one is probably an environmental uh, home, and they're selling it where they put the grass and the dirt. That's supposed to keep the... Uh, uh, like, if you look at... Um, I forget something. Some of those little desert puppies or whatever. Right? I was watching them kind of uh, uh, National Geographic. They live in the desert. But how do they keep it? It's hot all the... You know, they come out at nighttime and feed and everything else. But during the uh, daytime, how do they do it? They go deeper down because the, the dirt keeps the heat and everything else. So it's cool. It's not real cool, but it's cool enough down there. So they're using the thermal. If you look at heat pumps, that's using thermal energy. That's always the same constant and it's cycling through. So they put like, the dirt and the grass and say, this is natural. Instead of, you don't have to worry about a roof or anything else, you just got to figure out how you're going to mow the grass up there. It gets too long, all right? And if it gets too dry, it's a, a fire hazard. But if you're in an area, you water your roof and your grass, and you'll be all right. You know, but you got to be careful where you're at. You're in a snowy area, too much weight. But it's designed nicely. It's a good way. Look at it. Come on in here. You got the round door. Everything is set up differently to catch your attention. So I like this one. Okay, what's my planning on the trade show? Image of the company and the brand I want to uh, present. So I have to have some advertising, some giveaways, some project. I have to have my boot looks uh, 
uh, presentable. How are we going to look at my boot over 20 other boots? Okay, flexibility of boot, uh, you know, frequency that shows how often the shows are going. It's only twice a, a year. I got to make sure I plan ahead of time to get the boot. After a while, where do I want the boot? In the middle, at the end? Always get the boot someplace by the washrooms. They have to go. They're always going to pass your boot. Or by the cafeteria. If you have a choice, if you're late, or at the beginning, when you come in, you come in. You know, a lot of times at the beginning, you get too many people back. They, they, some people that come in, they'll miss you because they want to wait in the line. We'll talk about how long individuals like to wait in the line. Okay? Now, budgeting. Uh, trade shows are expensive. Remember, there's no uh, two ways about it. Uh, you have to pay the staffers travel, living ex salary expenses added to the boot. Cost per visit reaches or uh, ri uh, reach rises to more than. One hundred and ninety-five dollars per each person to come. They're talking over. So if I only have five people, that could be five hundred dollars. That's not very cost-effective. If I have a thousand individuals, I could drop that down because more people are coming. That means more exposure. Look at this as advertising dollars, promotional dollars. We're we'll gonna talk later about promotion. How do I get them? You know, coupons and everything else to get them as part of the advertising. But when I'm looking at this cost per visitors, you know, uh, the more I could come in. So advertising is very important to make that trade show effective and efficient i only have five people and how do i know is by how many people come in and how do i do it what do i give away for free so they come to my booth it got to be something that they want okay, so i got to understand the, uh, the 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 suppliers the distributors who's coming in there what do you think they're going to want to take home or why would they come to my booth you know money's always nice but what are my odds i want something now promotion uh, uh build for traffic for trade show booth or exhibit uh, exhibit Marketers send out personal invitation before the exhibit. You want to, it's like you're having a party and you're over there. Hey, we're going to be at this uh, boot here. I've got five tickets. I'm going to give them out free. I want the buyers. What better way, instead of me coming with little samples or showing a video, come in there and see the product, touch it, feel it. I have the exhibit, whatever. And you're, you, oh man, I always wanted to go to that trade show. Most businesses or suppliers, if they have any kind of dealing, will go there just to, so they could see what's coming in the future. What's new? Should we adjust? What's the new trend? What's out there that could uh, reduce my expenses, you know, my uh, uh, costs? Or what's out there that will uh, improve my exposure or bring more clients or customers into my uh, uh, business to buy my product uh, or, uh, you know, buy my product or service? All right? Uh, places ads in public uh, pl uh, publications. Hey, get a free ad. Come in here. Is a trade shoe coming in? Because you spend a lot of money. You want people to show up. New issues, new releases, perform telemarketing. How do uh, consumers learn about trade shows? Let's take a look. Good question. Okay, show a uh, uh, producer direct mail. Thirty-one percent, eight percent business associate. A lot of times when you have account managers there to bring their clients to, hey, I'm going to a trade show. Do you think about coming? Hey, our product is going to be there. Uh, I'll pick you up or I'll meet you there. I'll buy you a coffee. I'll buy you something else. Here's the free tickets. And tell them the tickets are usually, these are exclusive. You have to be by invitation only. You know what I mean? Because it's only going to be business people. It's only going to be uh, the same, uh, your competitors for lack of a better word. So if my competitors are there, I got to see what they're looking at. And I want to see what else is out there because I need that competitive edge. If they're there, I'm there. Okay, and that nullified trade publication, 20% exhibitor announcement is 18% uh, if you've ever been to one of these trade shows. Every year they're gonna send me more and more. I do like, uh, when I went to Boston, was professional something uh, for education, a uh, 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 teaching uh, professor, uh, and I get stuff all the time from them. Good, okay? So I took care of that. What else do we have? I think we're almost done with this one. Okay, so I did the bracket and that. Okay, what other specialty advertising do we have? Specialty products. Remember, when I'm giving something away, it has to be worth. You have two things. Specialty has my logo on it. Premium is a good pen, good tie clip, good shirt, good sweater that has no logo on it. It's just I appreciate your service. Don't worry about the business. Here it is. I, uh, yeah, you know I mean, uh, uh, it's not like I'm bribing them because most people for you know two hundred dollars I'm buying a million dollars worth of goods two hundred dollars if I want to take a bribe hey I want a higher percentage I'm showing ethics that's not I'm just saying the rationale you know what I mean so, but you give them something nice so they could uh, come out there unless you're a politician they say look what 
Game Consulting gave me. Okay, promotional product, usually imprint with an advertiser's name. You want them there. Don't make it real gaudy. You know, you could have a little logo out there with your name, but don't make it real big, the whole pen. And all right, geez, you know, I'm in a business meeting, everyone's like, oh, George can't afford his own pen. That's why I give him the other pen. Okay, message or logo is distributed free as part of a marketing communication program. So if you're doing something, let them know. Okay, so giving out free. Now, the premium one are also promotional products. They're typically more valuable, usually bear no advertisement at all, and they're given out as an appreciation of token. The president of the company, here's something. You may have a little logo, very small, you know, I mean, just on the clip. Business to business, specialty, business to business. Remember, some of you are used to uh, this terminology, business to business. You know, I always think of BTL or... Uh, BLT, but okay, I'm a little dyslexic, so that works. Uses uh, uh, more structured promotions. Remember, business to business, I'm very defined, smaller market, I can spend a little more. You improve the goodwill standing, uh, uh, goodwill standing over the competitors. The dollar amount spent on each promotional item may be less important than the sponsorship. Remember, not what I spend for it. I spend good seeds, I'm looking to return goodwill. I'm looking at people coming back. I'm looking at that pen. If I get something, a coffee cup, a good coffee cup, a good jug. Uh, uh, if I'm looking for water, if I look at this one, I'm trying to sell one. So Golskis keeps it good, works out well. If I give you something, this and I've got the logo on. Let's say I've got ComEd on there, or I've got Motorola, or, or I've got some school, you know, College Lake County, or Harper, or uh, uh, Northern Illinois. Or Argosy, whatever. These are schools I went to school at. Uh, you know what I mean? So, so if I'm looking at that, this means something. But now when I have that, oh my God, I got the ad. Because now I don't mind coming because it, it's very functional, it's effective, it's expensive, and I, I, I like it. If I want it, uh, all right? That business to business. So we took care of that. What else we have here? So I took care of my special aid. Okay, directories and everything else. If you look at the reading, they said they're still good. I just know for myself, a lot of people, I just rather just do it. So if I look at the yellow page and everything else is digitalized. So whatever they're doing in here, when you're getting the yellow pages, some people still use it. It's quick, you know, it's for the local businesses. This is how they, uh, uh, it's cheap advertising. A lot of people, when they look, the bigger ad, they just figure it's a larger company because he just George out of his garage. But I got a big ad, they don't know it because I'm a plumber. Usually you don't go to the plumbing place, the plumber comes to you. I'm an architect, I come to you. Know, architect a little different, you got an office. You know, certain skills, certain uh, uh, functions, I may not need that, so I'll put in the yellow pages. For small business, it's uh, uh, effective, though it's losing the effectiveness by yellow pages. You have the book, it's real quick as skin, but they also have electronic version. Contact how to purchase, yellow page, the fifth largest medium, which is still good. Competition, uh, push uh, user-friendly directors. You know, there's comp uh, other yellow pages out there that's very local specific. Sometimes those are effective. But I just want to know who's in the area because skin. Uh, and I look at them and see how they advertise. Well, who are my competitors? Yellow page is real easy. Write along a program for coupons and, uh, and samples. And here's where uh, yellow pages. Yellow pages, 20%. Newspaper, 30%. Overall advertising reach from media combination. When yellow pages advertise and use in conjunction with other media, it increases. So I have the two. How about this one? Yellow pages and TV. Look us up in the yellow pages. Radio and yellow pages. Real easy. Remember, when you're doing an ad on radio, don't give them the... You could give them the address or something else. You just want to make sure you slow down. Gam Consulting. Lake Zurich. Motorola. Palatine. Or North Chicago. Or his back, or whatever. You know I mean, so I give them the address, but I make sure they understand. Because so if I know the name and I know the town, I could uh, Google it and I'll, I'll hit it right away. Well, that's the place. And sometimes I'll find somebody. I can't remember. I said, uh, Jack's Pizza. Oh, yeah, he was in uh, 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 Buffalo Grove. And I could just, oh, there it is. Unless there's 20 Jack's Pizza, then I got something else. Okay, emerging media, real quickly. Cinema advertising, advertising in movie theater is growing but controversial. Look, I paid 20 bucks to get it and $40 for the treats. I don't look at the ads on there. That's my thing. Maybe during intermission, they're trying to sell something and they'll throw that to Coke. I expect that. But sometimes they'll throw other army. You see U.S. Army, all you want to be. And some of those ads could be public service ads out there, but other ones are just advertising. And that's the, uh, the thing. Maybe I could do it on a math and name when people aren't paying much uh, on there if that's the target. 
But at nighttime and everything else, you got to be careful. Just some controversy on that. You know, because remember, I'm paying for it. Same thing with cable TV. Don't want the ad. So how do I get in there? Ad placement. Now look at this. If you look at, uh, I can tell you right now. Remember the Coca-Cola? It's got its own particular shape. Because you take this and you can complete the bottle. You see how it's done? Even the glasses have this. fills half of the shape. All done strategically. But they got the Coke in there. Now, a lot of times when you're looking at the uh, commercial, you can tell who's sponsoring. If I see a lot of Chevys, I know Chevy's sponsoring. If I see a lot of uh, 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 Pepsi cans, I know Pepsi's sponsoring. If I see them drinking a, a, a pop and it's blurred out, you don't see Pepsi, Coke. Because, yeah, as a matter of fact, I'm, I'm seeing all these people. I'm not advertising for you. Pay me some cash. I'll put your Pepsi-Cola, Coca-Cola, whatever you want on the front of that can. So when, when the person is drinking it, the star... They look at it, and they'll say, oh, that's indirectly subliminal. You're saying, I wish I had a Coke or a Pepsi, whatever, okay? That's one way. The other one is ATMs. They're starting to put on ATMs with their cameras. There's another thing, people going for the money. I wouldn't like to have somebody come, hello, would you like to say some money? And I'm looking, oh, my goodness. It's actually talking to me. But after a while, you'll, they'll do it. People get used to it. They'll be able to turn them off. That's another one. So that takes care of our advertising, outdoor billboards, or using out-of-the-home exhibits. Sounds a little bit more professional, right? Gives me a little bit more. So when you look at this and you're doing your advertising plan for me, utilize this. Real easy. You could do the radio. Uh, uh, you could come up with a jingle or something else. That's remember, I'm looking for an integrated marketing communication, more than one medium when you're writing up, I gotta have something that's gonna build around them. I'm looking at print, radio, and you could have this is part of print or outside ad, and you have three components, so you're you're hitting them three times. Television may be out of there. You could hypothetically say we do a, a a TV commercial, remember? But you have to give me some kind of numbers or and what time, what station, why that was selected. But if you're an actual business, and some of you are business uh, owners or managers on a limited budget. I would do the print, I'd look at the ads, you know, and it could be also on a bus stop. I saw a real cute one. They only had half of the bus, you know, uh, someplace, not as much in the suburbs, make everyone stand. In the city, they got little benches. You know, out here, you got to wait for a bus. There, they got the bench so you can sit on there. And they had only half a sign. Only pay for what you need. So they're saying, if you want, you could share that bench ad with another publisher. So if I'm Subway, and health in the health industry, those two would make sense. I want to have Subway and Burger King. So you see them together. I went to a Burger King in Boston, uh, not in Boston. Where the heck was I? Uh, in Kentucky, you had a Burger King, you know, in the little stores at Burger King, Subway, and they're con they're connected. It's still in the neat. I think it's I forgot the name of a Yum uh, 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 Corporation that uh, owns the majority of uh, of them. So uh, here's a Burger King. You know, they had a common area. They're sharing a common area for the restaurant, and here's the Subway. Two, two different processes, and it makes sense. I get healthy food, you want healthy food, or I have, uh, I would like a uh, uh, Burger King. Uh, it's still healthy, you know, you, know, you can only eat so much healthy food. That's just me. All right, so these are your ads, these are your options. Utilize them when you're doing your advertising. Look at ads when you're driving. I want you to start looking at billboards. See which ones caught your attention. Why they caught your attention. What was the color? What was the location? When did you start noticing a billboard? You may be driving for the last five years. And all of a sudden now, I want you to start looking out the window. And, and say, hmm, well, try to post that. I saw a real cute billboard uh, online. And I may do that as a, as a homework assignment. All right, so my name is Dr. George Machaki. Uh, uh, walk up to advertising this is chapter 6 using outdoor exhibits anything that's outdoor anything you know uh, clothing anything else outdoor remember as you've learned 70% of your time you're outside of your home or your environment or your business so you're uh, exposed to stuff but there's a lot of stuff out there you have to be creative you have to know them you have to be able to get their attention and how do I get it and then using all the mediums that are available as many as I can to saturate, to expose, to utilize all the senses so the person remembers my ad, remembers the slogan, remembers the, uh, what uh, I'm selling and why I'm selling, puts me in my high end, low end, all that's part of the advertising that gives me that perception, the perception that I think I got a good deal, perception that this product's better than my competitors. And I'll see you in the next uh, session. Bye.